Hi, this is Steve and Justice with the eSignature Home Team. This is Steve driving. We have just closed on a property today and what a what an ordeal it was for us. And so we just wanted to take a little video and talk about it a little bit. Our closing was supposed to happen at 9.31, 9 o'clock today. It's now 5.32 p.m. We are just leaving driving in Atlanta traffic. You can probably see out the window as we drive. But we did close the property. The buyers are super happy. However, it's been a long journey to get here. So we just kind of want to give you an idea of what OfferPad is because there's a lot of talk about OfferPad and we just want to give you our personal experience of what happened. So we've been working with a, a really great couple buyers um, and they found the house that they really wanted. It was priced appropriately, but from the very beginning, it was just a complete debacle. I mean, we made an offer based on a lot of their terms and conditions, and it just went back and forth about, I think, what, seven times? Seven times. Before we actually went binding. The people on their side didn't even read the contract, so we had to remind them of important dates that they missed. Um, just absolutely, every time you called, you spoke to a different person. Uh, the one person didn't know what the other person was doing, and then they would come back to us and say, hey, you need to turn in your earnest money. And we said, well, we, we turned in our earnest money two weeks ago. And they're like, well, we don't have a copy of the earnest money. And we're like, you have a copy. We have a confirmed email from you that you have a copy. And then they said, well, you were supposed to make it out per the contract to the law firm. And we're like, no, the contract says the earnest money goes to Maximum One Realty, our broker. So it was just a complete, complete debacle. But today was just out of control. And um, just to start it off, they were supposed to have a refrigerator installed for our buyers by close date, which was today. So we went over there yesterday to do the walkthrough. And of course, there's absolutely no refrigerator in the property. And um, just the story, the, the round and around we went, um, we finally ended up just making them pay us for a refrigerator. But then, just crazy, we sat in closing for over two hours because they never had a deed. Um, just really incredibly unprofessional and a lot of stress on the buyer. Um, I think that OfferPad has a great idea to save people money, but in the, in the end, the seller ends up paying a whole lot more and there's a whole lot more problems that you're gonna, gonna encounter. So luckily, Justice and I worked together on this one full steam ahead and we got it done and the buyers are thrilled to get into their new home. But if, 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 if they didn't have us working for them, it would have been a complete nightmare. And, and, and it's, two, it took two of us nonstop, full time, putting our brains together to come up with solutions all the time for every single step of this way. I think Steve is 100% right. I feel like if they didn't have two agents who were completely to devoted to them and to every single detail, I just think they would have gotten ripped They would have off. lost thousands of yep. dollars, thousands. They would have lost on the refrigerator. They would have lost on the appliances. They would have lost on uh, title insurance. They would have lost on closing costs that we got paid for, uh, paid for them. Uh, it was just a really, really, uh, the uh, termite wood infestation report yep. we got for them. Um, the repairs done to the house, they had a big hole in the side of the house that somebody had supposedly repaired that didn't get repaired. The furnace wasn't working. Furnace, yep. uh, there was just problem after problem. And you know, truly it's a, it was a good house for them. It had all their needs, but it needed to be taken care of. And mm. OfferPad just didn't care because they're in Arizona. That's the other so. thing. They don't keep regular hours. They keep banker's hours, Phoenix time. So as you can imagine, when you need something done, you can't just pick up the call and speak to an agent. Uh, it was difficult. It was difficult. But we got it done for them. So just be warned uh, if you see these offer pads and these, you know, we'll, we'll buy your house for free kind of things. There are a lot of strings attached and you really do need to be very, very careful. So uh, we're your real estate agents for life. So call us and uh, we'll help you buy or sell whatever you're looking for. Have a great, great day. And make sure you hit the like button right down here. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, guys. Have Can a great day. Out? Probably that was probably <laughs> We're going to stay it on forever. <laughs> Bye.